This woman just saved a fox's life. She regularly runs in front of hunters to disrupt fox hunts. People like her are called hunt saboteurs. Many people think fox hunting is a thing of the past since it was banned in 2004, but it's actually on the rise. And with this guy, its future is even more up in the air. Backing up, if it's illegal, how is it even still happening? Let's start at the beginning. Fox hunting began in the 1500s when farmers used dogs to catch foxes who ate livestock and crops. But in the 19th century, the upper class of Britain started to make an event out of it. That's how rich people started hunting foxes with large packs of dogs for entertainment. This went on for a very long time until the Labour Party passed the Hunting Act in 2004 that says, it's illegal to hunt foxes with a pack of dogs. You can use dogs to simulate hunting, for example, drag or trail hunting. So that thing about fox hunting being banned in 2004? Not really. There are still ways hunting groups today get around this law. The first is trail hunting, where hunters give the dogs a rag with the fox's scent on it. But dogs have a powerful sense of smell and can't help their instinct to find and chase nearby foxes. Even though the law says they're not supposed to, try telling the dogs that. And if a dog kills a fox, the hunting group claims it was an accident, which makes it very hard to police and prosecute. The second legal way of hunting is using the dogs to flush out the foxes and either shoot them or let birds hunt them. So the ban isn't really a true ban, and even with it in place, hunting is getting worse. In 2018, a little over 40% of cases against hunters resulted in convictions, which is almost half the general conviction rate for other offences. Basically, this isn't working. That's where hunt saboteurs like this lady come in. They not only disrupt the hunts in progress, but they also make noises to warn foxes and spray scents to throw off the dogs. They also document hunts to help prosecute hunters for breaking the law. Get them off that fox! We saw the fox and I filmed it! Get them off that fox! They do all of this even though they receive death threats. But if I could catch you away from that camera, I'd kick your teeth in. You'd never forget me. I don't give two f about that camera. And in a minute, I'll take it off you and I'll chuck it in that pond. Try and I'll it. chuck you with the f <laughs> Now that's stupid. <laughs> Knock you out, you witch. You knock me out. I will. Get off! No, don't threaten me, missy. Get off her! Don't threaten Get me. Get off her! Foxes hey. aren't the only victims in the hunt. It's dangerous for the dogs too. They run in the middle of the roadways and even train tracks. They're often treated more like commodities instead of beloved pets. Stop hitting her! So why is this important now? According to a poll in 2017, 85% of people in Great Britain think fox hunting should remain illegal. But UK just got a new prime minister. Boris Johnson voted against a ban on fox hunting in the early 2000s, and his party's 2017 manifesto said they want a vote to decide the future of the Hunting Act. In other words, get rid of it. Here's what you need to know about foxes. They're playful, they're the best parents, they're more closely related to dogs than you think, and they deserve better. If you live in the UK and want to help them, let your members know that you want them to not only keep the ban, vote to strengthen it. Ask them to add in a reckless provision to stop hunters claiming accidents. Close the loopholes and help foxes. Like, comment and subscribe.